Is this, is this real? The hammer may influence the truthfulness of my answer. I put down the hammer. Oh, yeah, isn't it time for your medication? Yeah, this is the perfect time for my medication. I didn't make this happen, Titus. It just did. What happened? Well, beer is awesome. That's why you're here. I was taking care of her. For you. Huh. What does that mean? Attending to her needs. Like lotion and naked snuggles or food and water? And you need to be clear, because Titus also has baseball bat and eight-year history of being insane. Dave. Christopher, we have not slept together. It happened just, just a month ago. Is this really surprising? It was supposed to be three months, but you have been gone for eight years. <laughs> in therapy, they make you bring up the worst things in your life. Stuff from deep down in your soul. The stuff that makes you scream in the night. And then you relive those things over and over and over until you finally release the pain. <laughs> Why is that? I mean, my pain fuels my survival. My pain gives me the perfect lens to see the world for the dream-crushing place that it really is. What I do is I take my pain and I crush it down, and I crush it down until I make a hate diamond. And then I have a hot cup of bitterness and a bran muffin. <laughs> and then I expel it. And then I flush. And then I put the seat down. Always put the seat down. Listen, I'm not letting the two of you leave this room until you can communicate. <laughs> Done. That's a start. She's in love with me. Really? Christopher, I didn't want this. Hey, see? No, I love Tommy. He took care of me. He was there. It was normal. And I learned to tolerate musicals. <laughs> what? I mean, come on. We, we're normal. I love my robot dad. <laughs> Are we? Christopher, I just realized my life with you is chaos. Your family, the insanity. What, what insanity? What, my mom? She was a genius. And, and why Tommy? Oh, he, well, he. Fold his clothes in perfect squares. So he's bringing a lot to the table. I wonder how he does with sock balls. I caught that once in Reno. <laughs> Your father is a human petri dish. He is a walking STD who drinks more than any three people alive. AA sent a recruiter. Christopher, with you has been a constant barrage of stress causing. Character building, loving. Fear inducing, stress creating. Listen, do you want to hear what our normal life is like? No, 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 no. I've been shot at on a highway. You died in a funny car crash and then came back to life. You cheated on me. Well, honey, honey, you, you cheated on him too. Okay, tell me, just, you know, read the room. Sure. Okay. Because of your mother, I spent more time in a mental hospital hey, than- Hey, you did not spend eight years like I did. Yes, exactly my point. Other couples, they go to Sandals Resort. We get arrested for terrorism because you and your family are so character building. People make mistakes. Oh, and we tried, didn't we try? Remember that intervention that we had to get your father to start drinking again? And thank you for that. <laughs> so it got weird sometimes. Weird? Your mother drugged us on Thanksgiving. Your father got arrested for drunk driving on television. Because you got me drinking again. <laughs> During my almost wedding, your mother killed her fiance. There was gunfire during my wedding vows. I felt like such a princess. Christopher, we burned down and sank a houseboat on Christmas, and then you swear you saw your dead mother and made us chase her after she killed herself 2,000 miles away. Normal family stuff. <laughs> your, your family has problems too. No, you're right, you're right. My family's just as bad, or worse. 
just as bad. <laughs> Christopher, I don't need backup crazy. I don't want to be in a relationship is, that is just another version of the life that I left. I love you. But I need to save me. You know, I, I, I let your niece beat up the guy that molested her. As a matter of fact, I'm the one that gave him the bat. I helped. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, that douche actually deserved... No! That was wrong. Your life is a constant looking backward to try to fix a past that you can't change. I want a life with no bullets, no drag racing, no alcoholism, no druggy brother with weird touches. I want a life that I can depend on. My touches are sensual. Dave! Uh, that was perfect. Titus, he's stolen everything from us. Titus, look, 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 look. See, this, this was not my plan, okay? While you were gone eight years, I grew up. I ran a business. I made money. I stepped up. I didn't want this to happen. It just did. I was trying to help you. Looks like you helped yourself. You! Stop! You call me gay and fruit cup and fluffer nutter? You know, you can only see women as just meat for your pleasure. You know what? Real men see women as an equal. I would love her even if I was gay. Like a shopping buddy? No, dude. <laughs> like a man loves a woman. And I am the only man here who knows how to treat Aaron Wright. Got it? Titus, she's coming with me. So go ahead. Just say what you're gonna say and just do what you're gonna do. Because I don't care. I am my own man. And I love her and she loves me. So, come on. We all grow up. Some grow fat, some grow smart, and some grow apart. The good news about having a chaotic life is that you're okay with chaos. The bad news about having a chaotic life is that uh, to feel normal, you need chaos. You know, surviving a dysfunctional life is a really good skill to have, but it's tiring, you're not gonna live as long, and you gotta waste all that time getting tumors cut out. <laughs> but maybe being dysfunctional is gonna help me deal with death better. But right now, I'm gonna deal with life better. Tommy. Congratulations. You know what? What, congratulations? Christopher, don't I- Don't say anything. And don't get me wrong, I am, I'm sad, pissed, and destroyed. God, what a great day to get out of the mental hospital. <laughs> but you too. I love you both. Not as much as before. <laughs> you know, this is a really, really, really <laughs> just. Oh, oh crap! I gotta go, boss. Yes to me, Poppy! <laughs> really weird life. But I learned something in therapy. And if you two are in love, I can't fight that. So. I hope you guys are happy. Wow. Sounds like somebody got enlightened in therapy. Okay, so uh, we're good? No, you're fired. Right, okay, so we're gonna go. Aaron? Aaron? Quiet. Okay, but. Christopher. Mm. I should say that I am sorry, but I have nothing to be sorry about. I just choose to stop the chaos. And start antiquing with a man and assless chaps. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just going on for that. You're right. Uh, I'm sorry for putting you through all of it. I mean, <laughs> you guys deserve a good life, happy life. We all do. 
Me too. Dave. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna leave Robot Dad here. I can tell when I'm not appreciated. Fine! <laughs> Sorry. It's, uh, life. Human beings always think about themselves, you know? It's like, why is this happening to me? <laughs> Very rarely do we think about the people we love and how we're dragging them through a nightmare that we're just used to. And we're used to it because those were the cards we were dealt. So, as my dad's hero once said, sometimes you gotta know when to fold them. <laughs> hmm. Dave. Christopher, I'm in the Mexican jail. You gotta come get me. How the hell did you get your phone into a Mexican jail? How the hell do you think you get your phone into jail? I'm gonna have to eat ice cream for a year. Dad, she left with Tommy. She's gone. This really hurts. Son, there are 3.5 billion women in this world. You'll never get to all of them, but you can try. You're gonna be fine. Dad. I have never been fine. Look, that's all the pep talk you get from a Mexican jail. No, it isn't. <laughs> Say it. Quit being a wussy, Christopher. You're going to be just fine. I love you. There. I told you that because... Because you need somebody to come bail you out of a Mexican jail. Because you are a better man than I am. And losing Aaron is just another bump along this long, brutal, painful, tumor-building... Dad! <laughs> Look, sir. Life isn't for wishes, and you're not. Christopher, you make me proud. Wow. You know, this feels like a hostage video. No, goddammit, I just love you. Can I be nice for a second? Okay, thanks, Dad. Um, all right, uh, we'll come get you. What jail are you in? I don't know, chimichanga, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> okay, all right, da what? Hey, gringo, tonight. You are with me. Dad? Christopher, I gotta go stab a bullfighter. Get here quick. You want some, Paco? Huh? Kick him in the sack, Dad! 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 Hello? Ah. Hello? I'm coming. I'm coming. Hey. Wow, you're tall. Um, so, uh, can I do you? What? Uh, that's not what I say. Uh, what can I do to you? Sorry, sorry, that's not, um... Welcome to Titus High Performance. You okay? No, I've had a horrible day. What's up? I brought my dad's car in to get it checked out. Why didn't your dad bring it in? He died. What's that like? <laughs> like losing my best friend and being lost in a world that I can no longer understand. But there's no one bothering you, so there's an upside. <laughs> Sorry. What's wrong with it? I don't know. I just want to get it checked out so it won't break down. I lost Dad, and I just quit my life and my job. I'm just down, you know? Yeah, I do know. My girlfriend just left me for my best friend. How long ago? They walked past you. 
You mean that pretty girl and that gay guy? He's not gay. <laughs> okay, well, only you and he don't know that, because he's totally... Oh, sorry, my dad was a Marine and my mom had a PhD. We're very truthful. <laughs> my family, too, but you can add the word brutally in front of it. <laughs> Although we do lie to and about ourselves. <laughs> hey, you built this car for my dad. I just, I want you to fix it. I'm gonna finally take that cross-country road trip that he and I never took. Do you know that this is one of the first cars I built? Ramjet 350, T56 six-speed. I hand-built the engine covers and the chrome strips on the roof. I handmade those out of brass. He said you were good with your hands. Yeah. He thought you were awesome. I really liked your dad, he was cool. You know, I wished he was my dad. Of course, I always say that when I meet a dad. <laughs> Any dad. My dad loved this car. That's why I just want to get in it and drive away from all the sadness. Okay. Let's take it for a ride. See what's wrong with it. I'm really sorry about your girlfriend. Thank you. And your best friend. Thank you. And hey, your dad was cool. I'm sorry. Yeah. We both had a pretty crappy day. You ain't lying. You drive. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> no problem. Nothing's really wrong with this car. It's just everything else. I hear you. Let's go. Wow, I haven't worked on a car in about eight years. <laughs> hey, you want to take a really long drive? How long? Mexico! Ah. <laughs> Dave! What are you doing? I'm sorry, this is my brother Dave. He helped me build this car. And you know what? If we take him with us, uh, and something breaks down, he could help us. Okay. All right. Going to Mexico with two strangers? What could happen? I like you. But my dad was a Marine. I am weapons trained and carrying concealed as we speak. Are we clear? Worked on a car in eight years. Oh, <laughs> I was in a mental hospital. <laughs> mental illness is a chemical imbalance that can make you hallucinate, hear voices, be <laughs> insanely happy, or horribly depressed. It's actually the same symptoms of being in love. And you can never know how love is going to go. And you're never going to know when love ends. But you need to know that love is never over, ever. Because there are 3.5 billion men in the world and 3.5 billion women. <laughs> and if you're bisexual, <laughs> you have no excuse to not be happy. You know that she's weapons trained? Why is that so sexy? <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.